Welcome back to the channel, everybody. Uh, coming to you from Puerto Panasco, Mexico, I guess is the way they call it. And uh, the channel's on vacation, so we're going to do a little video about this place. And uh, kind of nice. It's a little unexpected. Uh, the economy here is a little weird. Like, uh, you know, here's the pool, here's our resort. It's kind of nice. We got the pool. And then we got our hotel. You know, not bad, right? And then you got this abomination over here, which isn't even finished. Yeah, those top floors are still under construction, and it's not like they're still under construction. They just abandoned the place, and apparently there's a, a tax thing. The people that are, are building these things don't have to pay taxes on these buildings until they're complete. So it's like a tax break or something. They'll start the hotel, build one, and build this like 90% up, and then just stop so they don't have to pay taxes on it until it's done. And then I guess whenever they'll sell it or flip it or do whatever they do, and it's not the only one. There's one way over there. But you can see, that one's also an abandoned hotel. And they're all over the place. This isn't a, this isn't like an isolated thing. They're all over. And this is the swimming pool right next to our pool. And as you can say, just like the hotel, it has also been completely abandoned. It's not under construction. It's just done with. They're not doing anything with it. And here's close-up of the abandoned hotel. I'd love to explore it, but I know I'd get kicked out doing it. But we're going to check it out anyway. Yeah, there's people watching me, so I probably can't go much further. There's only one down there at the very end that's got people living in it or renting out of it. It's all boarded up in those top floors. Completely not even finished. Yeah, so I couldn't explore the abandoned uh, hotel at all. I didn't figure I'd be able to, but there was... Welcome back to the channel, everybody. We finally made it to Porto, to Mexico, Mexico. And, uh, of course, you're checking out the beach. And this weekend is high tide, so if I just stood here, the tide would slowly roll in, and apparently it will get up to my neck, like right now. And it just gets higher and higher and higher. Always keep coming in, so that's kind of cool. Yeah, and the resort itself is pretty cool. It's uh, it's really nice, except half of it's been abandoned. And I'd like to check out the abandoned part. Like, there's a hotel right over there. That hotel there is completely they stopped construction. Got like three quarters of the way built, and then just gave up on it. Ran out of money and then, and uh, the hotel next to ours. Same way, it's also halfway in construction and it's uh, completely abandoned. So uh, I'm hoping to check that out. I doubt they'll uh, let me go in there though when I'm in it. Thank you. So this is basically life at the beach. And uh, yeah, it's not too bad. It's about 90 degrees out. And yeah, we went to old Mexico, went to the city, like the resort is kind of nice, but once you get into the city, it's just like you'd expect, like the road stops being paved and, and turns into a good road, and you've got lots of cars running around everywhere, and, and uh, the track everywhere, half-constructed buildings and abandoned, boarded up houses, and it's basically the Mexico you expect that you see in movies and TV shows. So, that I wasn't too impressed with. what I mean? That tide just keeps coming and coming. This is low tide. We're about 20 feet into the water here. I'm running out of space, so I'm going to have to end this video here. Yeah, there's the beach way to fuck up there. This should be about 20 feet underwater right here, and the ocean's way the fuck out there. But I've had enough of Mexico. I'm ready to go home. I'll see you later.